Strong e-commerce and product page SEO is essential to growing a successful online store and for generating more revenue. So that's why in today's video, we are gonna be talking about everything related to SEO for e-commerce and online stores. First, let's start from the basics and break down what is SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization, which is basically enhancing and improving your website so that your website and website pages show up on online search results. Having your website appear in search results is becoming more important every single day as 88% of consumers go online to do research before buying something in store or online. And on top of that, there are over 5.6 billion searches conducted every single day on just Google alone. People are literally searching for your product and service, but does your online store show up? That's where SEO comes in. In order to give your online store the best chance of showing up in search results, here's an overview of what you should do to help improve the SEO of your e-commerce pages. Conduct keyword research using tools like Keywords Everywhere, Ahrefs, and Ubersuggest. Simply, keywords are the basic words or phrases that people type into the search engines. So let's dive into keyword research a little more. This is the first step when you are doing SEO for your e-commerce pages. And it really is the most important because your keywords really build the foundation for a successful SEO campaign. For this reason, you want to do your due diligence and actually spend a decent amount of time researching potential keywords and comparing those to other ones. Here are some things to consider for keyword research. First, when you are doing research for your desired search terms, you need to be aware that you may have to modify your desired keyword phrase for something that is a little more specific or longer. Your desired keyword phrase might be too competitive for you to target starting out. So you'll want to target synonyms and other variations of that phrase and consider targeting those instead. Next, use keywords with low competition and medium to high search volume. There are certain products that are completely dominated by big players. For example, you are not going to stand a chance if you are trying to rank for the term t-shirt. So instead, you wanna use a different variation of that keyword that has less competition, one that perhaps is a little bit more specific, such as red floral t-shirt. A more specific phrase like this is going to have less competition, but you also want to make sure that it still has a big enough search pool. It doesn't do you any good if nobody is searching for that term. So you wanna make sure that the search volume is medium to high. Next, only focus on one to two keywords per page. You don't want to stuff a bunch of keywords and phrases into one page because then it's gonna confuse the search engine about what is the topic of this page. Leave it simple and stay focused with one to two. Next, create comprehensive and valuable product descriptions. You have a product page dedicated to that one product. So make sure that you're not skimpy on the details and you include a lot of information. So that way this page is incredibly valuable to potential buyers, but also by doing a detailed product description, it's going to send indicators to Google and the other search engines, letting them know even more what this product page is about and hopefully helping to rank your page higher in the search results. Keep your linking higher hierarchies simple to navigate and understand. Don't make your customers jump through a bunch of hoops to eventually find your product. Instead, try to keep it as simple as possible, minimizing the number of steps or the number of pages a customer has to click to to get to your product page. For keywords for a category page, since it is slightly broader, you want to focus on two to three keywords on these pages. Next, use high quality images that are optimized to load quickly. Page speed and images specifically are very important when Google and other search engines are looking at ranking pages for SEO. You don't want to have big bulky images that take a long time to load because not only is that going to frustrate your potential customer, but it's also gonna lose you points in your ranking with the search engines. Lastly, measure the success of your product pages and adjust accordingly. SEO is not a one and done item that you check off your checklist and you never have to come back to it. You want to see which pages are performing better, which pages are ranking better, and also the pages that are not performing well, then apply the best practices and standards to those low performing pages so that way they have a better chance of ranking. Now remember, good e-commerce SEO is more than just about Google. In the US, 50% of product searches begin directly on Amazon, while only 22% of those product searches begin on Google. For this reason, you might want to consider listing your product on the Amazon marketplace, which has many pros and cons. 
For example, Amazon has a built-in loyal customer base that is going to always go to Amazon first when searching for products, many times because they have an Amazon Prime subscription and they wanna take advantage of the free shipping. Other times because people just know that Amazon has everything you're looking for in one place. For this reason, there is huge volume potential by listing your product on Amazon. Another element of e-commerce SEO is to optimize for on-site search. Most e-commerce websites today have on-site search functionality. Knowing what is being searched for on your site is a critical component to optimizing an online store and ensuring that visitors are given every opportunity to convert into paying customers. Here are some additional e-commerce SEO best practices to include. Implement a Google Shopping Feed. These are now free to submit and a no-brainer because the Shopping tab is now one of the main tabs that appears in Google search results. Add schema when and where appropriate. Schema is important for enhanced search features such as price, stock availability, and reviews. Keep your product URLs permanent and you want to avoid changing the URLs at all costs. Avoid taking product pages down when out of stock. Google does not like to see pages change and appear and disappear and then appear again. So instead, keep things constant so that way Google can always know that they can count on that product page and they're more likely to show it in the search results. Consider imagery that gets clicks. It's so important to have professional photographs of your photos because this is going to help convert customers. When creating titles for category and product pages, avoid anything time-bound in the URLs. So for example, if you have a summer dress, you want to list that in the product description, but not in the URL itself. Lastly, how do you measure success of your e-commerce SEO? First, track funnels from the search engine page all the way to purchase. Next, test copy and learn to improve. Next, manage your funnels per channel. For example, you'll have one funnel from traffic that comes from Google, one that comes from Amazon, and one that comes from Facebook. Next, track relevant keywords for your clients. And lastly, show increases in volume due to keywords or increases in purchases to your clients because they'll want to know that the SEO is working. All right, so we covered a lot when it comes to e-commerce SEO. Let me know in the comments below what you found the most helpful and the first thing that you're gonna do on your own e-commerce website. Give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and until our next video drops, check out these videos right here.